Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. I'm John the Video Guy and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys an easy way to create a slow motion effect not using high frame rate footage. So I'm going to first show you guys how to do it in Premiere Pro and if you need to refine it a little bit I'm going to kick this over to After Effects and show you a few other things that you can do if you're still having issues with your footage. So we're inside Premiere Pro and I just have this clip downloaded from pixels.com. It's a great stock free footage website. I'm going to click and drag this to our timeline to create a new sequence. And we don't really need a lot of the footage so I'm going to press play, go out a little bit, and then stop and hit W on my keyboard as a shortcut to just kind of cut it. So we got about a second and a half. Alright, so the first and easiest way to create slow motion, if you just click on the footage, right click on it, and then go to speed and duration, you can change it to your desired speed. So I'm going to do half, so 50% speed. And the key here is to change the time interpolation from frame sampling to optical flow. And what this will do is kind of blend the frames together so you don't get some jittering effects, you know, or so that it looks uh, pretty smooth. And then you'll click OK. Then what you'll want to do is render this out as if you play it back now, um, it won't play back uh, accurately. So hit return or enter on your keyboard to render it out. All right, so we got our footage, and the first thing you'll notice, I specifically download this clip because it does have some sun uh, light leaks here, the luminance here. So if we make this bigger here, you can see how it kind of warps as the cart is being pushed around. But otherwise, the rest of the footage doesn't look that bad. It's just that area. And, you know, depending on the footage that you have, you know, you might not have this luminance issue. So... If you don't, then that's it for this tutorial. Be sure you hit the like button before you leave. But if you are dealing with this problem, I'm gonna show you guys how to work with it inside Adobe After Effects. All right, so I'm gonna undo what I did here. And hit undo a few times. And what we're gonna do is click on the footage, right click on it, and click replace with After Effects composition. And this will open up After Effects and make a linked composition for us. All right, so once it's over here, the first the effect that we're going to search for in the effects and presets here is called time warp. Now it's important to note that eventually Premiere Pro is going to come up with this effect. So this will be an effect down the line that will be available inside Premiere Pro. They actually did roll it out but removed it. So they're still working on fixing it and updating it. But this effect should be hopefully in Premiere Pro pretty soon. All right, so off the bat, what you'll notice here under method is that it is in pixel motion already. So it's the same type of blending mode that I showed you earlier. And the speed by default is 50%. If you want it lower or higher, you can adjust it, but that's pretty much where we wanted it at the beginning. And the key thing to change if you want to get rid of that luminance thing is the block size. So you'll notice this option right here. Depending on how severe it is, you can increase it. I'm going to increase it up to 40, and if we play this back, you'll notice that it is gone. All right, so when we play this back here, you can see his shirt. It looks pretty normal. It looks pretty good. The only thing you'll notice here, if we zoom in on his foot, there's like some weirdness happening when you increase the block size that there's some... Uh, you can almost see the frames blending into each other as it goes forward in time. So to remove this, what you can do is actually pre-compose this footage and really only apply the this effect with the block size 40 to part of the you know area that it really affects it the most. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. If you click on the footage, go to Layer, Pre-Compose, then we'll click Move All Attributes into the new composition, and we'll rename this Slow Motion 01. Click OK. Then go to your project window, and what we'll actually do is duplicate this composition by just hitting Command D, double click on it and to get into it, click on this layer, go back into effects controls, and reset the block size down to five. So basically we have two compositions. Slow motion 02 has the block size at five, and slow motion one has the block size at 40. And in our link composition, what we can do is drag in slow motion 02, which has a block size of 5, and the top layer has block size of 40, 
And what we can do is create a mask. So I'll just grab our pen tool and create a mask, kind of draw around where that luminance issue happens. Then if you click on the layer and click MM on your keyboard, so two M's twice, you can change the feather, feather it out a little bit, maybe to 100 pixels. And now if we play this back, you'll notice his feet are normal and that you still retain that block change um, to that slow motion effect so his shirt doesn't look wonky. And the reason you guys have to pre-compose this is I tried not you know, doing it without pre-composing and the mask didn't work. So a workaround is probably just to pre-compose and probably if you get into Premiere Pro, I would assume that you guys would probably just have to nest it to make it work as well. All right, so as we look at it back, it looks pretty good. You got the slow motion with the luminance happening in the window. His shirt looks normal and his feet look pretty good as well. So everything is very good. Now, obviously, you'll have to change the settings depending on your own personal footage. Maybe this might not work in some scenarios. You know, I work for a DJ company, so a lot of the flashy strobe shots that I edit a lot of the time won't work. You have to really crank up the block size in some cases, and in the end of the day, it might just not look good. So it really comes down to your own personal project. But if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and if you guys want to take this to the next level a little bit maybe add some motion blur to it or some speed ramping i did make a tutorial going over that i'll link it right up here feel free to go watch that thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time